Good morning. It is Thursday. Maundy Thursday. And there's only one hymn we can sing. There's a bunch of hymns, of course, for the Lord's Supper that are some of the best hymns in the hymnal. Mm -hmm. But on Thursday morning, beginning of the day, as Jesus and his disciples get up in Bethany, we want to sing hymn 445, When You Woke that Thursday morning. When you woke that Thursday morning, Savior, teacher, faithful friend, thoughts of self and safety scorning, knowing how the day would end. Lamb of God foretold for a But one could hasten wages, you assumed their dreadful song. Never so alone and lonely, longing with tormented heart to be with your dear ones only for a quiet hour apart. Sinless lesson as their teacher, washing your disciples' feet. What was there that you could give them that would never be unspent? What great gift that would outlive them? What last will and testament? Show me and the world you love me, know me unleavened bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where will you have us go and prepare for you to eat the Passover? And he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished and ready. There prepare for us. And the disciples set out and went to the city and found it just as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover. And when it was evening, he came with the twelve. And as they were reclining at table and eating, Jesus said, Truly, I say to you, one of you will betray me when he was eating with me. They began to be sorrowful and to say to him one after another, Is it I? He said to them, It is one of the twelve, one who is dipping bread into the dish with me. 
For the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been better for that man if he had not been born. Should we trade on? Yeah, that's what I thought we would do. And as they were eating, he took bread, and after blessing, bro- blessing it, broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I say to you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said to them, You will all fall away, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though they all fall away, I will not. And Jesus said to him, Truly I tell you this very night before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he said emphatically, If I must die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said the same. And they went to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John and began to be greatly distressed and troubled. And he said to them, My soul is very sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and watch. And going a little farther, he fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Remove this cup from me. Yet not what I will, but what you will. And he came and found them sleeping, and he said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed, saying the same words. And again he came and found them sleeping, for their eyes were very heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. And he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. The Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. And immediately while he was still speaking, Judas came, one of the twelve, and with him a crowd with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. Now the betrayer had given them a sign, saying, The one I will kiss is the man. Seize him and lead him away under guard. And when he came, he went up to him at once and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. And they laid hands on him and seized him. But one of those who stood by drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus said to them, Have you come out as against a robber with swords and clubs to capture me? Day after day I was with you in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me. But let the scriptures be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. And a young man followed him with nothing but a linen cloth about his body. And they seized him, but he left the linen cloth and ran away naked. And we'll stop there. Uh, There is so much to talk about. We we try to keep these, we've been running 20 minutes or so. And we, we try to keep them a little shorter than that. 15 if we can. Uh, but, man, there's a lot to think about on a Maundy Thursday. When Jesus got up in the morning as we sang in the hymn, all the day ahead of him, knowing he would not go to bed again. When Jesus got up on Thursday morning, he knew he was going to be up, he's going to be on trial all night long, uh, going from place to place to place, and the next morning early, taken to Pontius Pilate, and on on from there. And so he, he prepares with his disciples for the supper. This is why we moved into the dining room here. Think about the meals that we have together. Ah. And some are special. Perhaps you'll have family t- to come or you will go to visit family for Easter Sunday and, and to sit and have a meal together. And you put all the leaves in the table and you get out folding chairs, and maybe you set up other tables, and everybody's there. 
And those times go by so quickly. And then it's time to do the dishes. And then people are hugging and then you say goodbye. As the hymn said, what could he give them? What could he give to them that would last longer than that? Longer than a meal? Certainly the Lord's Supper that we come back to and we are made one with him. We are united with Jesus. There's even more than that. The, their prayer together their opportunity to be in prayer with Jesus, which they kind of missed, but but knowing that he's praying for them. Uh, he washed their feet. That's not, Mark doesn't record that, John does. But uh, knowing that Jesus knelt down in front of them and washed their feet, I have a feeling that was a very vivid memory. Um, they, the meal, conversation, the food, it was the Passover and the familiar messages of that about freedom, release from slavery. And then they sang a hymn together. Uh, we don't always do that at our dinners, do we? The, I think that the traditional hymn for the end of a meal uh, uh, among the Jewish people at that time was Psalm 118, I'm pretty sure. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. That's how it starts. Uh, out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord is on my side uh, as my helper. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. We've read that at many a graveside. Uh, the nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. Uh, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Or how about this? I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. Oh, and this, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We, we're familiar with many verses from this song. Imagine singing that and remembering these hymn verses then when all these other things take place. Jesus prepared them with the meal. He prepared them with the washing. He prepared them with his warnings. He prepared them with prayer, he prepared them even, even with the hymn that they sang. To go through a dark time, but to watch and to see his salvation. Today I hope you can prepare for tonight, for the Lord's Supper tonight. Spend some time in prayer and confession and repentance and in eager expectation of receiving the Lord's Supper. Prepare today for tomorrow, for remembering the hours of Jesus' judgment and his suffering and his death. Prepare today for Sunday. Through days of waiting, like Friday, like Saturday, like the days of waiting in our lives, but with the promise, with the hope that it's coming. Jesus will not be dead, and we also will live with him. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endures forever. O oh, Lord, how many times we have said that. We are thanking you for a meal. But Lord, how many good gifts you have given to us, and the greatest of all, you gave to us yourself. Prepare us, Lord, for tonight and for the days to come, whatever they may bring. We will go with you as the disciples did, not knowing but trusting. In Jesus' name, amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. 
the Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. That's my phone. Hmm.